Hey guys, it's Vivian 91, and I'm bringing you another Walking Dead character bio, and today we're talking about AJ. Yes, we have gotten to the more main characters of this story. Now, AJ was first introduced in Season 2, just as the baby, and in New Frontier, he didn't do much either, except create a reason for Clem to kind of leave Richmond and go find him at the end, more or less. So this was actually the first game that AJ could actually be more of a character. So what was AJ's character like? Well, what I liked about AJ was that he was a child who was born and grew up in the outbreak. I, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember it. So it actually shows completely. Even though he's supposed to be like Clementine's Clementine kind of, he isn't because he was born in the outbreak. All he really knows is the outbreak. And this shows in his personality. But before I get to his personality, I just want to say something. How does AJ have an afro? For those of you who don't know, which is probably all of you, back in my high school and college days, I sported a small afro, and without a proper pick, you can't keep that up. The minute you sleep and wake up, your hair is no longer an afro. You gotta pick that out basically every morning. So, how is AJ able to pick his hair? Unless they're using that toy that she found in the trunk, I guess, to pick his hair. That's possible, I guess, but other than that, it just doesn't make sense. Moving on to his personality, though. AJ is survival. That's basically all he does. He thinks survival, survival, survival. But sometimes we see he is still a kid. More so when he plays with Ten. Ten, being AJ's best friend, actually brought out more of the kid in him. And it is kind of cool to see this, like, kid survivalist mentality. So is AJ's main attribute survival? No. His main attribute, actually, is protecting Clem. Beside AJ being the Clementine, like from season one in this situation, he sees his job is to protect Clem. He stays up at night with that knife to protect Clem. He goes on patrol, believing it will help keep her safe. In AJ's mindset, anything that is hurting Clem, he has to basically eliminate. And this is where his sociopathic behavior starts to set in. He kills Marlon basically because he sees him as a threat. He wants to kill Lily because he sees her as a threat. And if you let him kill Lily, he goes full sociopath, saying that he actually likes killing. And I think they took a lot of inspiration from Ben. Not Ben from the game, Ben from the comic book. Ben from the comic book, I believe, is a five-year-old who actually ends up killing his brother because he has kind of sociopathic tendencies. And that's why I took, think they took a lot of their inspiration from. And unfortunately, doing to them keeping AJ kind of at the level of just wanting to kill every threat, it means that the decisions that Clem made for him don't make a difference. And this is a fault probably of the writers or developers, whoever's behind it, because AJ was supposed to be one of those people that you kind of, your decisions affected him. And they didn't really. AJ, no matter what you tell him about atonement and all this different type of stuff, he still wants to kill Lily. He still wants to kill a Abel. So it just doesn't make sense that... Clem's decisions had almost no effect on him. So, it just was kind of sad that no matter what you basically decided for AJ, there were no big moments other than killing 10 or not killing 10 that really defined his character. At the end, you basically just get a bunch of words that say, you left him feeling like this. What? I didn't see all that! So, it was just one of those disappointments again, because AJ is supposed to be this character that your decision affected him. But, they don't really. They don't really change his personality. He basically is the same no matter what. And then at the end, they allow you to play as him. So they kind of completely remove that whole aspect because even if Clem taught him a bunch of different stuff, you can still choose the opposite of what she taught you, basically. So this just was a product of them rushing the finale, I believe. And I have to say it, I'm sorry. I know you've heard this many times, but AJ was a character who suffered from not going to the Delta. Could you imagine AJ at the Delta? Maybe there he would have some character development where he actually has to learn how to take orders and not just be rebellious like how he was on the delta boat he i think he could actually learn hey we gotta bide our time until we actually have to make our move i would have liked to see that version of aj and it would have been kind of cool i think yet we were denied that and i really think that caused aj's character development to suffer he didn't have much at all he seems to be a little cooler with people by the end of it just because he's been living with people in the school but other than that He's basically the same AJ at the beginning. He still wants to kill every threat. He still thinks protecting Clem is paramount. And Clem's decisions don't make all that much, other than the words at the end of the game. So, AJ to me was a good character, but he really suffered on the character development side. He was a good way to show how a child who actually grew up in the outbreak would be. But 
they basically just didn't let him grow, in my opinion. But what did you guys think about AJ's character? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Me like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.